You may have noticed that we now have only eight planets in our solar system. Most of us grew up with nine. Pluto was the ninth, but it's no longer a planet. I'll explain why not. And also, if Pluto is no longer a planet, just what is it? Pluto was discovered back in 1930 and added to the list of planets. Its orbit is a strange one, taking it for a time closer to the Sun than Neptune. But more of its time is spent beyond Neptune, all by itself. At least we thought it was by itself. In the early 1990s, two smaller objects were found in orbits near Pluto's, in what is now called the Kuiper Belt. These discoveries were followed by more objects in the Kuiper Belt, all smaller in dimensions and less massive than Pluto. But even then, some astronomers questioned if Pluto should be considered just another Kuiper Belt object instead of a planet. And this wasn't the first time something like this had happened. In 1801, a new object was discovered orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. It was given the name Ceres. During the early 1800s, Ceres, along with its neighbors Pallas, Juno, and Vesta, were considered planets. But that changed with the discovery after 1845 of many more of what are now called asteroids, also orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. After that, Ceres and the rest were reclassified from planets to asteroids in what is now called the Asteroid Belt. So it was natural that many would question whether Pluto should still be called a planet, given that many more objects were found around its orbit. Pluto's status as a planet was then put under even more pressure in January 2005 when Ares was discovered in the Kuiper Belt. Ares is practically the same diameter as Pluto, but its mass is around 25% more due to its higher density. The discovery of this more massive object alongside Pluto meant that either Ares should be added to the list of planets, or Pluto should be reclassified to something else. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, the IAU, convened to decide just what the definition of a planet should be. The final decision was that a planet should meet three criteria. One, a planet is in orbit around the Sun. Check, Pluto orbits the Sun. Two, the planet has sufficient mass for its own gravity to pull it into a nearly round shape. Check, Pluto's gravity has made it nearly round. And three, the planet has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. This is done either through collisions or redirecting objects away. And this is where Pluto fails. Pluto accounts for only a small fraction of the mass around its orbit. To put this into perspective, there are thousands of relatively small asteroids, called near-Earth objects, around Earth's orbit. But the Earth's mass is 1.7 million times the rest of the mass in its orbit. On the other hand, you'd need around 14 Plutos to equal the mass of everything else in its orbit. So if Pluto isn't a planet anymore, what is it? At the same meeting of the IAU, a new classification was formalized, called a dwarf planet. What's a dwarf planet? A dwarf planet is one that meets the same first two criteria for a planet, but has not cleared the neighborhood around its orbit, just as Pluto hasn't. Plus a fourth criteria. A dwarf planet is not a satellite, like our moon is a satellite of the Earth. Check. Pluto isn't a satellite of any other object, other than the Sun, that is. So Pluto is a dwarf planet, and so are Ceres and Eris. As of now, there are only a handful of dwarf planets, but it's suspected that there may be up to 200 in the Kuiper Belt, and maybe even more than 10,000 when objects outside the belt are considered. This video was made as a collaboration with All Time Numbers. Check out this stunningly awesome video of theirs, The Universe and Numbers, by clicking on this preview or on their logo to go to their channel. Discover the universe in numbers. The diameter of the observable universe is 28 billion parsecs. A parsec is equivalent to 19.2 trillion miles, which is roughly the size of our solar system. This video, Pluto from Planet to Dwarf Planet, was fun to make, but was also a massive effort. If you enjoyed it, or maybe learned something, please do me a favor and share it widely with your social networks. And as always, subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!